Hi, Charlie. I'm glad to meet you. My name is Sarah. I'm a six-year-old girl who loves adventure stories. Do you like adventure stories? I also love small animals, like dogs and cats. I really love adventure stories about dogs and cats, but only if they have happy endings. Stories with sad endings make me unhappy. I hope you feel the same way as I do. I came to visit you today because I have an adventure story made especially for you. It's about you and your friend Megan, the cute Westie who lives with your grandma and grandpa in Arizona. Did you know that she really likes you? I made up this story, and I wanted you to have it. I asked your grandpa to read it and make some pictures so you could hear and see the adventure at the same time. Well, that's it for now. I have to go and start writing my next adventure story. Tell your grandpa if you have any ideas for me. Bye. I hope you enjoy the story. Megan was a happy little Westy puppy with perky ears and a big, big smile. Megan lived in the country and loved to be outdoors all the time. But most of all, she loved to play with her best friend, Charlie. They played soccer. They played fetch the ball. Megan even loved to play baseball. They would go for long hikes in the woods. They would stay up late at night looking at the moon and the stars. Megan really liked to go fishing with Charlie's grandma on nice days. One day, Megan and Charlie discovered a mysterious map that showed that there was a treasure somewhere in the forest nearby. After dinner, Megan left home so she could find the treasure on her own and surprise Charlie. But it got later and later and darker and darker and Megan couldn't find where the treasure was. She searched all over but still couldn't find the treasure and soon she was deep in the forest and the night had gotten very, very dark. Megan got very tired, so she laid down to rest for just a few minutes. But soon she was fast asleep and started to dream. She dreamt that she went to Paris and saw the Eiffel Tower. She dreamt she was in London and saw Big Ben. Then she was in Rome in front of the Colosseum. She even went to Italy and had a ride in a gondola. She dreamt she came back to the United States and went to San Francisco and was on the beach by the Golden Gate Bridge. She climbed rocks in the Grand Canyon. And then she ran down the streets between tall, tall buildings in New York City. She went to the beach, but got very, very hot. So she got an umbrella and blocked out the sun so she could stay on the beach. While she was there, she did some surfing. Somebody taught her how to fly an airplane. Somebody else taught her how to ski. Then, of all the silly things that she was dreaming about, she went skydiving. And she learned how to sail a boat. Then she got hungry, so she dreamt that she went to a food market and bought lots of vegetables. She even went to an Italian restaurant and had a big slice of pizza. She topped off her piece of pizza with a bowl of spaghetti. Finally, she woke up and found her way back home. Happy, happy little puppy. And the best part of being home is that she could be together with her best friend, Charlie. Well, Charlie, how did you like my adventure story? It had a happy ending, just like you and I wanted. Did you like all the places Megan traveled to? That was sure an exciting dream. 
The only sad part of the story is that Megan didn't find the treasure. I'm sure Charlie kept the map. I wonder. In Megan's next adventure, if both she and Charlie could go into the forest together and follow the map more carefully, maybe then they would be able to find the treasure. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Bye for now, Charlie. I hope you'll come back when the next adventure is ready.